Welcome to our lecture online and here's another example of how we prove an identity. The left side should equal the right side and of course with the identity that we've learned so far we should be able to prove this. Starting with the left side we're going to try and make that look like the right side. So I think what we should do here is turn the tangent into sine divided by the cosine. So let's do that. So this is equal to the sine of a divided by the cosine of a minus the sine of b divided by the cosine of b. And then let's write that over a common denominator, which should be the product of these two. So this cannot be written as the sine of a divided by the cosine of a. Multiply times the denominator of the other side, cosine of b over cosine of b, minus the sine of b divided by the cosine of b times multiplying the numerator and denominator by the denominator of the other one here. So that would be the cosine of a divided by the cosine of a. All right, having done that, notice now that these two are equal to each other, and it's also equal to that. So we're on the right track. We can now write this over a common denominator. So this is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of b times the cosine of a, all divided by the common denominator of cosine of a times the cosine of b. Now you have to recognize the numerator. Notice the numerator does not look a lot like the sine of a minus b. Remember, when we write the sine of a minus b, that is equal to the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle minus the cosine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle. And if you look at this, and you look at this, sine a cosine b minus sine b cosine a. This is reversed, but it looks the same. So this is equal to this which is equal to this, and therefore we can write it like this is equal to the sine of a minus b divided by the cosine of a times the cosine of b, which is equal to what I have over there. So we've proved this identity, and that's how we do that.